Okay, for number two, again, we're going to be looking at our first strategy would be change everything into sines and cosines. So we'll start by doing that. We're going to do one over cosine theta minus cosine over uh, just one, one over cosine in the bottom. Let me just center this here. So we have that. And that's got to eventually equal sine squared. What you always want to do is get common denominators on this. So in this case, that's just cosine by itself. Uh, and so that has a denominator of 1. So my common denominator on the top, if I'm just looking at the top uh, fractions here, I want to get that to be common denominator of cosine. So what I'll do in the next step is I'm going to keep the 1, one over cosine. And then this one, I need to multiply it by cosine over cosine because I want to get, again, the, the uh, common denominators. So if I do that part, I still have on the bottom, don't want to forget about this one, 1 over cosine, and then eventually I want to have it equal uh, sine squared. So I'm doing the, again, uh, common denominator step over there. So now let's come over to here. This is going to be 1 minus cosine squared, I get, over cosine theta, and I still have 1 over cosine theta down below. Uh, so again, I, I multiply that together and I put it over a single denominator since I do have the same denominator for both. And now that I have that, I have a fraction over a fraction, so I want to take the top fraction, multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom one. So 1 minus cosine squared over cosine. I'm going to multiply this by cosine theta over 1. So I'm going to uh, flip and multiply there. When I flip and multiply, I get the cosines to cancel out, and I'm just left with 1 minus cosine squared. But if I take a look at my identities, these both are the same. So 1 minus cosine squared is the same thing as sine squared. So I'm going to put an identity for 1 minus cosine squared, and I get both sides to be equal. So again, what did I do? I put the identity in for 1 minus cosine squared. The identity for 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared. So cosines cancel, put in the identity for that, and then I have both sides equal.